Satnam, I'm Nirvara Singh Khalsa, and here we are in the month of November. 2018 is coming to a close. We're going to practice a Kriya today from the mid-70s, 1976, early in the year. And Yogi Bhajan taught this Kriya, and he called it Tantra Kriya, but it can be practiced individually. And it's a... Um, I was thinking to myself, well, what are the tantric qualities of this particular Kriya? And a lot has to do with not only the recit uh, reciting the mantra, which is going to be Waheguru, but it's the ability to listen to the mantra simultaneously as you're chanting. And so actually, you're creating this polarity of speaking and listening at the same time. And so perhaps that's the Tantra quality. Anyway, it's a fantastic Kriya. As Yogi Bhajan said in this lecture, is that really the first quality of a practitioner is the ability to listen. Because if you can listen, then you can learn. If you listen, you can actually use that sattvic quality, the buddhi quality of the mind, to discern what is true. What is true for you, what is true for the environment, what is true for all times, and adjust your consciousness in relationship to that which is true, like what we say always, sat now. So this particular Kriya will elevate your consciousness. It will help you to expand your horizons in a creative consciousness that is elevated. And it uses this mudra, of course, first we use the Tunan Mantra, Aung Namo Gurudev Namo, three times. And the mudra is this. The fingers are going to be up at a 45 degree angle with the thumbs facing forward. And the hands are in front of the diaphragm about four inches out. Make sure that you've got your chest high, chin level, neck and neck lock, and the eyes are closed at the brow point. And then we're going to take a deep breath and a very deep breath, really get to the bottom of your lungs. And then we'll chant the mantra, Waheguru, 12 times on a breath. So it'll sound like this. Waheguru, 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 Waheguru. And then another inhale. So, 12 times on a breath, and do you notice how my voice got a little shaky on the last two? <laughs> and that is, that, that's something interesting to note, because once you get into it, of course, it will become even. But once you find an interesting, you can have fluctuations in your frequency. And a lot of it has to do with that process that's happening within your own mind. And so, it's interesting to reflect, to see where your mind is going, when and exactly when in the 12 repetitions of the mantra Waheguru do it gets a little bit shaky or you space out and, and lose your count of, of 12. And so I think this is a terrific Kriya. We're going to practice it together in this month of November so we can elevate our consciousness, so we can be those people that when we hear what's true, and we can actively listen to what's true. We can integrate it in our consciousness and it can reflect in the notion that we are a spiritual being having a human experience. Satnam.